okay in this video we are going to see about nervous tissue nervous tissue okay nervous tissue is highly specialized highly specialized for conduction of for conduction of nerve impulses okay nerve impulses it is highly specialized for conduction of nerve impulses okay all the cells however they conduct they are sensitive to stimulus but only this cells that are present in the nerve system nervous system okay they are highly specialized for conduction of impulses okay so if we see its structure we have we have the cell body okay the nerve cell would have cell body and many short branches known as dendrites okay dendrites and a long part and a long part known as exon at the ending we have nerve endings or neural ending okay so this is how a okay this is how a nerve cell looks like so this is a typical neuron nerve cell is also known as neuron okay it is a neuron so it is having what three important parts dendrite okay dendrites cell the center one is known as cell body cell body and along extension is known as exon it is exon okay exon and at the ending they are known as nerve ending nerve ending okay these are nerve ending at the end we would uh, we would see the this okay endings they have a knob like structure okay a swollen structure knob like structure they are nerve ending okay so at the cell body we would find a prominent nucleus we would find a prominent nucleus because it is a cell and we also find other cell organelles like mitochondria okay lysosome all the organelles we would find at the cell body and the cytoplasm since this is a cell it also have cytoplasm okay along the exon and the cell body along the exon and the cell body and in the cell body we would find okay we would find granules we would find many granules these are known as nissels nissels body these are nissels body okay and this exon this exon is sometimes deposited with sheet deposited with sheet deposited with sheet okay deposited with sheet it is white white fatty substance okay this sheet is white color it is white fatty it is white fatty substance okay it is white fatty substance and i told you the exon is covered with myelinated sheet so these are myelinated sheet it is white fatty substance okay myelin sheet it is covered by myelin sheet okay these myelin sheet are produced these myelin sheet are pro produced by produced by glial cells okay they are produced by 
glial cells. We see these glial cells associated with the associated with the smiling shape. So glial cells. Okay. Some glial cells. Okay, what are they? They are glial cells. Okay, this myelinated sheath is produced from glial cells. Okay, now we have cytoplasm in the exon. In the exon, this cytoplasm is known as this cytoplasm is known as exoplasm. Exoplasm. And this myelinated sheet or myelin sheet is covered by covered by again it is covered by neuri lemma. It is covered by neuri lemma. Okay, neuri lemma. The myelinated sheet is covered by Neuri lemma. Okay. Now, now this cell, nerve cell, is specific in specific in transmission of impulse. They are specific in transmission of impulse. So dendrites they collect the impulse and they send into the cell body and from the cell body the impulse they travel to the exon and from exon to exon endings. From exon to exon ending. So this is a basic structure of neuron and how the mode of transmission takes place, how the mode of nerve impulse they transmit in the neuron. Okay. And next we are going to see where they are present, where they are present. Okay. So this neuron which we are talking about is it is multipolar. This neuron is of multipolar. Okay. Neurons are of various types so this is multipolar multipolar why it is multipolar because it has many dendrites and a single axon many dendrites that's why it is multipolar okay if we see some of the neurons they are known as bipolar bipolar neuron why they are bipolar because they would have a single dendrite and single exon that's why they are known as bipolar and some of the neuron they are pseudo okay they are pseudo unipolar they are pseudo unipolar that means there would have there would be a single okay cell body and okay so pseudo polar there would be a cell body and a single extension from that again it is branch so this is pseudo polar and next we have unipolar we have unipolar okay unipolar means what single axon and a single extension single extension so this is this is how the nerve cells are of nerve cells are of various types they are bipolar multipolar pseudo unipolar and unipolar and we are talking mainly about multipolar neuron multipolar neuron okay so we are discussing about multipolar neuron right multipolar neuron okay or multipolar nerve cell so in multipolar nerve cell what we are discussing we have many dendrites we have many dendrites and a single exon at the exon okay exon we find exon ending or nerve ending right so these are dendrites these are dendrites okay so some of the nerve cells they would have what myelin sheet and some they do not possess myelin sheet so if they are not having myelin sheet they are known as non myelinated exon non myelinated exon this is non myelinated exon because there is no deposition of myelin sheet okay if we see about myelinated exon then the exon would have what myelin deposition myelin deposition okay 
माइल डिपोजिशन एंड दिस माइल डिपोजिशन एंड एट दिस देर इज नो माइल डिपोजिशन हियर यू कैन सी सम गैप्स राइट दीज आर नोन एज दीज आर दार्ट स्क्वेर माइल इज नॉट डिपोजिटेड वी कॉल इट एज वॉट नोट्स ऑफ रनवियर okay nodes of runvier we call it as nodes of runvier nodes of runvier okay so what is the advantage of the myelinated neuron okay what is the advantage of myelinated neuron here you can see this is myelinated neuron and this is non myelinated neuron non myelinated neuron okay this is non myelinated neuron and this is myelinated neuron so okay you can see the difference right here it is myelinated and here it is non myelinated so here the tr uh, transmission of impulse takes place okay along the axon along the axon okay here the transmission of impulse takes place by okay between the nodes of renvier between the nodes of renvier okay that means the impulse would travel like this the impulse would propagate like this okay nodes to nodes okay nodes of renvier we have right so the transmission of impulse would travel from nodes to nodes nodes to nodes and finally there is to nerve endings so this is how okay this is how the transmission of impulse takes place in myelinated neuron myelinated neuron and we know that this neuron or nerve cells they are present in the spinal cord where they are located if we see their location okay if we see their location we find them in the brain we find them in the spinal cord okay we find them in the spinal cord brain spinal cord and nerve cells okay and nerve cells okay and nerve cells so brain spinal cord and nerve okay nerve cells they are composed of what neuron they are composed of neuron they are composed of neuron okay so neuron makes brain spinal cord and nerve cells okay and if we see nerve tissue if we see nerve tissue they are a collection of neurons they are collection of neurons okay that means they are bundle of neurons this collection of neurons how they are formed they are formed by the connective tissue they are formed by the connective tissue so okay nervous tissue they are what they are in simple collection of nerve cells okay collection of nerve cells how they are collected it is by the help of connective tissue by the help of connective tissue and this nerve cells they are specialized for conduction of impulses they are specialized for conduction of impulses and they help in what they help in quick respond response okay in respond to stimuli okay quick movements are done in response to stimuli so nerve cells are the ones responsible for the movement of an organism okay quick responses are done because of this nerve cells neuron okay so we have completed nerve tissue so this was the last topic of the lesson okay so thank you children next class next lesson we are going to discuss